Once you've installed FreeNAS and accessed the web interface, you'll be greeted with a login screen. The default username is admin and the default password is FreeNAS. And you can change this after you get in. To add a disk, we're going to go to Disks, Management, and the top bar. Click the plus sign on the right to add a new disk. Choose the disk from the drop-down menu. In this case, I'm just going to use the external drive I have attached to it. Give it a description if you like. And the rest of these settings should be fine. We're going to leave it unformatted for now. Hit Add. Be sure you hit this Apply Changes buttons after you hit Add. It's kind of annoying, but you have to do it a lot. If you haven't formatted your disk yet, go to Disks, Format, pick the same disk we just chose, and pick a file system. We're going to use UFS. Give it a volume name, and hit Format Disk. Note that if you installed FreeNAS on the drive, your disk is already formatted and you can skip this step. This is only if you're installing FreeNAS on a flash drive. Once it's done, you can go back up to Disks, and then go to Mount Point. Click the plus sign to add a new disk. Choose the disk that we've been working with this whole time. And give it a mount point name. Once again, the rest of these settings should be good at the default. Hit the add button. And once again, hit that apply changes button. Your disk is almost ready to go. The last thing we need to do is share it with your other devices. So head to services and click on CIFS slash SMB. Check this little enable box that's hidden on the right hand side and change any of these settings you want. When you're done hit save and restart and then hit the shares tab. Hit that plus sign. This is the last time I promise. Give it a name. This is the name it will show up as on your desktop. Choose the path. You only have one drive, so that's pretty easy. And note that in this section, the comment is actually acquired. I don't think it really matters what you make it. Once again, the rest of the settings should be OK. Just hit Add and Apply Changes. Now, if you head into Windows and you type in forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of your NAS box, you should be able to access your files. Create folders, add files just like you could in the other folder. If you right click on it and hit map network drive, you can even map it as a drive on your computer so it shows up under my computer. On a Mac, you just have to go into the finder and go to go, connect to server, and type in your IP address. Then connect as a guest and it should show up right in your desktop. Once again, we can create folders, add files to them, manage it just like we do any other folder or drive. And then you could pretty much do whatever you want with your new NAS.